Hello everyone, I'm Paws Player, and this is Stray Cat Crossing. I came across this game on Steam today, and it had amazing reviews, and everyone was saying just amazing things about it. And I actually was attracted to it because of the name, Stray Cat Crossing, but it's so much more in-depth and deep than I thought it would be just from reading the synopsis, and I'm very eager to jump in here and see what all this game is about, because everyone was saying wonderful things about it. Oh, I already love the art style. Already love the art. From all I know from the synopsis is that I wake up in a field and I find a little girl crying and I try to get her home. I'm trying to help her get home. That's all I know about the game. That's it. Hey, are you okay? Are you like okay, man? What's wrong? Are you lost? I'm scared. I, I want to go home. I'm going to try to do voices for these characters. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. It is pretty late. Do you know where your house is? I would hope she knows where her house is. Yes. She's so cute! Oh, look at her big old hat and her bow. It's that way. She's obviously dressed in old-timey clothing. Makes me really suspicious. Real, I'm really suspicious of you. I can take you home if you want. Don't you want to go home? Okay. She's not following you, dude. She's not following. Hmm, what's wrong? Cold? Oh, it's ever so cold. Oh. Here, take my scarf. Better? Too tight. Way too tight. Oh, sorry. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't your fault. That's a weird wording for that. Instead of saying it isn't your fault, you're saying it wasn't your fault. Like, that's super past tense. It wasn't your fault. Hmm. Here, let me fix it for you. Better? Warm. Great. By the way, what's your name? Cat. Kit Cat. My name's Kit Cat. Nice to meet you, Cat. Let's take you home. Oh God. So it begins like the sinister music. The horrible sinister music. Fridge Games presents. I love the color that's in this game. There is a nice mix of very vibrant color with a very creepy, at uh, with a very creepy atmosphere. It's really well done. It's really good. A story by Drillo and it didn't let me finish reading it. It's a story by some people. Some people wrote this. But I'm really, really liking the setting and how they decided to do like all this color in with this, with this creepy atmosphere. Stray Cat Crossing. Bum, bum, bum. She's a stray cat. Stray Cat Crossing. Is this your house? Yes, here is fine. Are you sure? Yes. Well then, take care, cat. Goodbye. She stops and turns around so dramatically. Um, thank you. And then she scurries away. Hey, wait, my scarf. Oh, she, she did just hijack your scarf. I can't lose it. I paid a dollar ninety nine for that scarf. I can't lose it. She did just hijack my shit and take off with it. <laughs> was, unless she did it on purpose to lure me into the house. <gasps> this little girl set me up. Hello. Hmm. The door is open. Enter. Hell yeah. Don't mind if I do. Cat's house. Cat. Oh, I see little footprints. Let me go over here and explore. Whoa! Hold on. What is this? What is this? Is, is that a kid? Is he eating something? Is he eating like a decapitated head? If I go over here, what's gonna happen? P picture? Oh, what's gonna happen if I say yes? What is this kid? Why does he look a hedgehog? He, he's seen better days. He's not looking good. Hold still. Oh, 
Oh, that was just a save point, everyone. I didn't know what to expect when I said yes, and it was just a save point. Okay, crisis averted. Kind of creepy, but mesmerizing. Oh god, I'm having a flashback to the poltergeist when that little girl's talking to everyone through the static in the television. It's a thin book, The Fisherman and the Geisha. It's fake, but it looks very realistic. Okay, so here's where the little footprints go. Let me go into this room right here. What is this? Oh, oh. Just a sink in a mirror. The mirror's so dirty, I can't see my reflection. Hmm, so obviously it hasn't been used in a long time. This house must be like an abandoned house, and the inhabitants are like ghosts. I'm starting to I'm starting to come up with all kinds of theories now. What's over in here? Just a kitchen stool. Is this the kitchen? Better not play with fire. <laughs> What's in the cupboard? These cupboards are sealed tight. These cupboards are sealed tight. Okay. Okay, obviously the footprints lead downstairs. But I want to know what's upstairs. That's what I want to know. We're gonna go in a- Whoa! Oh, run away, run away! Oh, mayday! Mayday! What was that? I don't know, that's a good question. <laughs> I was not expecting that when I went up those stairs. So we're gonna go down the stairs. We're gonna follow the little footprints. Ah, oh, the basement. Cause nothing horrible ever happens in the basement. Cat, are you in here? Oh, it's locked. Of course it's locked. What is it? Oh my god, what is that? Look, look! It, look at look at the hag! I'm not an old hag. Look what the cat dragged in. Oh, oh, oh. A guest, a guest! We must look our best. We've never had a guest before. A sight for sore eyes, isn't it? Uh, it's very creepy that there's a baby face on a grown man's body. That is very creepy. That's a sore eye, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Who are you? Don't be so innocent, hee <laughs> hee. Hear that? Hear that? Weird, that. Well, she never met us, did she? Did she? Did she? Precious, isn't she? Have you seen a little girl around? Little girl, little girl. Aren't you a little girl? No, I'm a grown ass woman. I am all woman. I'd like to leave. <laughs> I'd like to leave, please. Thank you. I think I'm done. I'll just be taking my leave. She'd like to leave. To leave the nerve. The bee, we'd grieve. Is there a way out? <laughs> out, yes. Doubt, yes. A favor. I declare a favor. This guy reminds me of the Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. For all the obvious reasons. A favor. Honor the favor and then she can leave. The nerve. The bee. Okay, what is the favor? Our favor, she asked. Please, miss. It's not a hard task. This stupid, useless, wrinkly... Oh, it's moving too fast. Something, something, flee... Pile of mud here. That's a dog? That's a dog, really? Can you tell me its name? I'll have to find out its name. Here, here! Then you can leave. Leave us behind. How unkind. Okay, so I gotta find out this thing's name. An old-fashioned bicycle. It looks uncomfortable. Ooh. So creepy. Just a sink and mirror. An ice sculpture of a swan. It's beautiful. That's kind of an odd place. Oh, okay, okay. It looks like there's something over there I can get to. But I gotta get... Okay, I gotta, pass, I gotta get past that swan sculpture thingy somehow. Here's another save point. Let me save real quick. Okay, let me march on ahead to the horrors that await me. I'm guessing I can go... Yes, I can go down here. Oh, God. Horrible things are happening. It's an old diary. Read entry. Yes, May 18, 1912. To be honest, I find their back garden as terrifying as it is fascinating. The creatures that lurk there can only be described as cunning and monstrous. And yet, the plants that take root there, I never could have dreamed of them. The floors seem ordinary, but their properties are, I dare say, magical. For example, the extract of rose emanates warmth even in the coldest of conditions. The rest is scribbled out. Okay, was this some kind of like freaky nursery? 
Oh, yes. Now there's a satanic goat head hanging above the fireplace. Oh, yes, of course. Oh, I'm sorry. It's a satanic sheep skull hanging over the fireplace. I'm so sorry. Thank you for correcting me. Its mouth is chained and locked shut. Someone broke these chains. Oh, my God. A blanket hung on the wall. It has pink rabbits on it. Oh, my God. There's horrible things happening here. A dead bird hangs over the crib. I'm guessing that dead bird came from this poor bird cage. <laughs> There's some bubbly. A flask containing a blue chemical. A rack of test tubes. Take test tube. Oh, 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 okay, okay. Can I take two of them? Oh, yes, okay. I don't know what these things do, but I'm going to take, um, uh, fill the test tube. I'm going to take one of each of these. Because I'm pretty sure these aren't here just, just for decoration. Red potion. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, oh, the diary. Hold on, hold on. Um, uh, for example, the extract of root emanates warmth, even in the coldest of conditions. And it's red. That is red like the potion. Okay, okay. So that must be the Ho oh, ho. Oh. oh my god. Okay, I think I saw a crib. And that horrific chaos. Uh, and that flashback of whatever that was. I think I just saw a crib. Ugh. Oh, the, oh, the sculpture. An ice sculpture of a swan. It's beautiful. Pour red potion over the swan. That's right, because it, it emanates warmth. It'll melt it. Oh, okay. <gasps> oh. oh, God. What am I going to find down here? There's something on the wall here. Let me read it. A golden plaque. In memory of Dr. Joanne Falls, 1868 to 1912. 1912 was the date of that entry in that in that journal. I, I, I bet she wrote that journal. Did she die the day she did that last entry? She at least died the year she did that entry because it's the same year. This must be her. An old film reel. Pick it up. Heck yeah. And I'm going to logically put it into this projector. The projector is running by itself. Play film reels. Yes, please. Babyface Productions. <laughs> False the Dog. Starring False the Dog. Got it. Oh, look at the meat. It has a little face. Oh, he's... Oh! This is also extremely creepy. It's cute and creepy at the same time. Look at the meat's eyeballs. He's like, what the hell just happened? He's like, I'm a piece of floating meat that has eyeballs, and that was weird even for me. Huh, son? Father? I didn't even know I had a son. Oh, God, they switch faces. Oh, Finn. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh! Is that it? Oh, is that a baby? Is that the dog? It's offering an egg. Take the egg? Yes. I'm scared to say no, quite frankly. <laughs> that is pretty creepy. Is that a baby? And it just disappears into the night. <sighs> An old fashioned record player. I'm just gonna explore a little bit. A random street lamp. I was about to say, why is there a lamppost indoors? Just a random street lamp in the house. An old guitar, someone snapped its neck. What is going on with this thing over here? Give egg to Nutcracker. Give, give egg? No, not that. Not again. No more. Please, no more. Okay, that was super freaky. I don't know what just happened. Okay. All right. I know your creepy baby dog's hideous monster's name. Oh, this stupid useless blah 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 blah. Can you tell me its name? I sure can. Foss. Correct, correct. Correct, how? Foul play, I suspect. Must be, must be. Must be. We ask for another favor. Oh, that's totally legit. I totally get that. Totally. Come on. 
We must, we must. We mustn't hate her. Another Fagel will right the wrong. There was no wrong. I got that on legit terms, man. Favors for favors. Bring us the favorite food of the ram. Baby flesh? Because that thing was in a nursery. Now scram. All right, everyone. I'm going to come over here and save. I'm going to stop it for this episode. I am loving this game. I'm so glad I downloaded it. If you want to download it, go to Steam. You can get it there. I think I downloaded it there for like $2 and it quite the bargain because this game, as you can tell, is very good. I can't wait to continue it. I'll put another video up tomorrow. Until then, keep gaming.